Hey everyone, sorry I'm looking a little bit worse for wear. Do you know where my glasses are, Mikey? Yeah, they are. Oh. <laughs> I shall put them on. Just turned the big lights on, which I do not do. Mm -hmm. But it's rather dark. Well, Mikey's just made a cocktail, which is one of the ones from the Hendrix book. Do you want to show it? Yeah. It's cool. I've got ice on them. Really nice. Really like that. It's this, it's called a supersonic gin and tonic. It's like a Hendrix gin and tonic had a baby with an espresso martini, is the description. That's actually really nice. Yes, gin, sugar syrup, fresh espresso, 100 ml tonic water. It's meant to have some cucumber in it, but we didn't actually have cucumber. Um, and you literally just put it all in a cup, give it a stir with some ice, and that's it. No cocktail shaker required. Yeah, really good. Which is nice and easy. I like a cocktail that's really easy to make sometimes. Yeah, me too. Sometimes she just can't be bothered with all the fat. Yeah, all the fat of all the different like equipment yeah. you need and stuff. That so gets a little bit tedious at times. Yeah, yeah cheers. Cheers. Mm, really nice for a lighter. It's kind of a strange taste to get used to. Like we were just saying, it's like strange to have a coffee alcoholic drink that's cold and fizzy. Yeah, it is. Not that it's like really fizzy, but it's got like the fizz of tonic. It's like a spritz, but yeah. it's actually really nice once you get used to it. Yeah, it is nice. Strange. No, it is nice. I really like it. Um, we basically had a change of plan with dinner because we didn't have any risotto rice. So I'm instead making, I had squash and onions and sage leaves and stuff. So I'm instead making a butternut squash pasta, which I think will be quite nice. I'm gonna do some sage butter and like crisp the leaves up and stuff and then I'll pour that butter over the mm. um, top of the pasta when it's done and yeah, do it with some parmesan and stuff as well. But oh, we've had a nice chilled afternoon, haven't we? We didn't do the yeah, painting. Really nice. We listened to our minds. Which we learned a few weeks ago that we need to do. Yes, because we tried to do <laughs> some painting a few weeks ago when we were not in the mood. And it didn't go well, so well. we decided to just have a pamper, we did a face mask, did some pre-wedding grooming. grooming and treatments. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, just had a nice evening. No, nice. had a nice evening, had a nice afternoon, and now we're going I mean, to... I mean, it was only, it has actually only been like two or three hours yeah, since we didn't have loads of time up, but yeah, it was nice to have that time anyway, just to kind of do some, we tidied the house a little bit. We, oh, also we've got this candle burning, which is really nice. Yeah. It's like a marble, I don't think I've shown it on here, I'll try and focus. So you can't really see it, but it's a really cool shape and it's marble. And it's from Tom Dixon, which Mikey's parents got us. So yeah, really nice. And we're gonna watch a Halloween film tonight. Yeah, what should we watch? I mean, any this video will be up before Halloween, so if you have any Halloween recommendations for us, then please yeah, nice. yeah comment them down below and we'll try and watch them this week. But our usuals are Coraline. Which yeah, we've watched, watched already. Hocus Pocus 1 and 2 now. Yeah. That's kind of it, really. No, we always watch um, Hubie's Halloween. <laughs> yeah, Hubie's Halloween, which is a bit of a rubbish Netflix one. We watch that watch. in the mornings. We also know, always watch. Um, <laughs> oh, what's it called? The one with Meryl Streep and. Oh, Death Becomes Death Her. Death Becomes yeah, Her, a really good one. We might, we could watch something like Monster Think is always quite uh, good. Yeah, I'd probably like to watch Practical Magic. Yeah, we should definitely watch that. And also Bewitched I really like, it's like casual, but... Yeah. For this squash pasta as well, I've never actually... I've made similar things, but I've just blended, like, fried butternut squash, thyme, and just salt and pepper and garlic in my ninja blender and then I've kept some of them and the red onion that I fried aside. In a separate pan I've done the sage leaves in a butter and then I've got the pasta going on as well so I'm going to turn those sage leaves off because they're cooked. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put those and the butter into the kind of still whole sage and red onions and just just to like get that sage flavour throughout 
the squash and also those leaves will give like a nice little crunch to the pasta. You can obviously eat them, it's not, not a problem. And yeah, this should be ready in the next couple of minutes. So we'll show you it once it's ready. And here is the food. I'll have to be quick because of the music, but very simple pasta dish. And now I'm going to turn the lights off and we're going to sit in dark and enjoy. <laughs> Exactly the same position we were in yesterday morning when we started the video but we are going to Bath now to pick up Mikey's new iPhone we're very fresh faced we've just done a bit of a scrub after getting the painting done this morning and what else have we done this morning we took the dogs on a walk had some breakfast, breakfast but it was a bit of a rush I thought getting the we had to get the iPhone at 11 yeah. Thought we would have more time than we did, it just kind of ran away. Yeah, it's quarter to 11 now, so we'll be fine, we'll make it in time, so that's good. We should be parking the park. Yeah. Or Waitrose. Just the park. Yeah. So that's more, it's actually only 22. Oh, right. That's good. So we've made quite good timing. And yeah, we're gonna get that now. We'll show you it when Mikey gets it. I guess you won't like, probably set it up later. Yeah, I'll just get it and I'll just get it and like give your own leave. Yeah, because um, yeah, if you can log into iCloud and download it, well, I think it's really straightforward now, isn't it? I know, yeah, it just takes quite a long time to like get download all your old stuff. Yeah. But it's easy. I was actually supposed to be getting an iPhone gifted from Apple <laughs> for like a work thing, but just decided I didn't need it and I think because I pay for my phone anyway, like I always say I want to be like authentic and even though that obviously would be because I, I buy an iPhone and I pay for it, I just kind of thought I didn't need another phone yeah, because you would have just ended up with having two I phones. I would have had two phones because mine's on a contract and yeah I just don't think I needed two phones so I didn't do that so yeah I'm picking mine up this evening as well, this afternoon which I'm obviously fully paying for which is good timing because my camera started to go a little bit dodgy so I might have a fee to pay for the Apple Care but we'll see. Well, it won't. We never know. I have had that before. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. But yeah, we're gonna do that. Maybe get a coffee and walk we'll stormy a little bit more as well. Christmas is here. It's also later in the day, by the way. Mikey has his iPhone, which we'll show you in a bit. But we're now on the way to my mum's and to pick up my iPhone from the shopping centre of Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's kind of like normal. They've gone for Cotswold snowy Christmas tree, like different themes for different things. They've got, this is like the autumnal Christmas. They normally have like chestnut decorations and squirrels, don't they? Yeah. Like the owls, lots of oranges. I actually really like this vibe. Yeah, it's nice colours. If you're doing like a colourful Christmas, I think that looks really nice. Because you could also easily put in your like family heirlooms. And yeah. Stuff, which is cute. I can't believe it's out already. I know, me either. John Lewis, quick on the ball. Yeah, good though, because it is getting earlier and earlier for us in business. It is. If you want to stay afloat, you've got to put it out now. Before, <laughs> ha before probably came out before October. Yeah. Just spotted a couple of these ball balls, but thought that one was really nice. How much is it? It feels really like hand painted. Yeah, it looks really hand Five pounds. That's not bad, is it's it? nice. And then also, what was the one that you liked? I liked that one. This one, it's like velvet with... And they have them in different colours, yeah. but I think that looks quite like luxury. Yeah, it looks like nice on the tray. Yeah, I'll show you on the They like have quite a lot of impact. Yeah, because they kind of look like they're like lit Fairy up. lights, yeah, if you want to go for like a minimal tree with just a few decorations. Sorry, it is a bit dark, but I think it's fine. It's alright actually. It's as dark as our house. <laughs> we went and got my new phone, which is exciting. I'll I've actually you already got one. So oh yeah, I'll show you Mikey's, but here's, here's mine the new is one. exactly the same. It's in the box. Went for okay. the titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. Yeah, it is... Um, just, I know it seems ridiculous because we actually already had the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but we're on the iPhone upgrade program, which 
few reasons why we do that. One of them is obviously for me and my work, we're using like our phones all the time. Yeah. And like you do for your work as well. Yeah. Um, it's also way better, which they obviously say this, but it's actually a lot better for the environment because you... Do they sell them again? Your yeah, phone? they yeah. resell, they like refurbish them, resell them, or they, if it's not refurbishable, they <laughs> use them for parts and stuff. So yeah, it's not good, like yeah. it just gets, like, not that you throw a phone into landfill, but I think you have them sitting in drawers a lot. And, yeah. Like, it's like our parents they're yeah, sure have they have like a few yeah. iphones so i actually don't know if he did the loss and theft on mine so we'll i think you can upgrade it can't you no, i'll try and do that but yeah i need so i need to set mine up but that was great and then we also got from john lewis my sister's husband a birthday his birthday next week and we're seeing him this evening yeah, yeah. so that's quite nice that was I, got, good. I was quite jealous of that present. yeah we got him a levi's like, like a long sleeve rugby shirt, rugby shirt. Yeah. and I think it was £55, which I think is yeah, quite good for good that. Good it worked out well because we were going to get him a voucher, and then and we normally do like around 40 or 50 quid, and then we walked past that and we thought it would suit him. It so nice. he, no, it was worth more, so he, he did that. Yeah, well. he lucked out. And then we also got, we got some nail polish remover because we have some paint that we need to get off a few things, and apparently that works. And we got this, yeah, it's a number seven lash and brow perfector because I my eyebrows are really like you can't really see but no my eyelashes sorry are like really undefined and I just wanted something that would kind of give them a little bit of like without being like makeup Has that done anything? Try my eyebrows. Yeah, your eyelashes do look more defined. Let me have a look in real life. It's hard to tell it's so dark in here. Well, I should do the other eye now, but cut this bit out of the vlog because this is boring. Uh, I actually think this is quite good. Anyway, so got that. There we go. Oh, they look a little bit feminine now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit so, less. So. Well, that's what you wanted. I wanted a little bit of lift, so, I mean, we'll see. And then, from B and Dem, which we went to just before. Again, B and Dem. B and, did I do that last time? I think we spoke about that last time. God, well, I, I don't know what last, time, last time it came out. I, so we went a few weeks ago, we vlogged it, so if you saw that vlog, then you will know. And today we needed, we're just like, we're going through. Like kitchen stuff, Yeah, we were cooking breakfast and we just needed loads of extra stuff so I was like when we took up my phone there's a B&M nearby so we got some extra virgin olive oil because I just decant it I used to buy like really nice glass ones remember yeah. but I decant it into my drizzler and I'll get a nicer one for when we're having like balsamic yeah vinegar and like breads type thing but for just everyday like breakfast and cooking that's good so I'm gonna wash you everything and then we got cling film baking paper and foil, <laughs> toilet cleaner, just thought it's good to have. Nice. Chewing gum, which is for the car, so we'll yeah. do that. Um, sweet chili oil, just because I wanted some for a salad the other day. And chili sauce. Didn't have any, uh, yes, sauce. I was like, oh no, wrong one. Got some fairy washing up liquid, because it's handy to have. Some dry roasted nuts, because I literally live off of those. <laughs> Mikey got some sweets, and then some vanish. Oxy action because we wanted it for our shirts before Susie's wedding, my two sister, just to make sure they freshen up. Whiten. They all look fresh, but that is it. And we are now going to go for a roast at my mum's house. There's about ten of us, so it's like Christmas Day. It will be yeah, like a big, big roast. I've just texted my mum to ask if she needs us to bring anything, but she said no. So yeah, we we should be there. Actually, bang on, bang time. on time. We've got yeah. about twenty minutes to get there. Um, so that's good and that's pretty much it for us we've got a really busy week ahead which i think we're yeah. gonna vlog as well so that'll be good and then just getting ready for mikey's sister's wedding also sorry another life update you might know this already by now because we might have chatted about it in q a but mikey well you can say about your work situation hey that i'm gonna work for you more yeah 
I'm going to be working for Toby a bit more. With Toby. What did I say? For Toby. <laughs> I'm going to be working with Toby a little bit more. Yeah, which is really exciting. So if you don't know, Mikey currently has, so his other job is four days a week. And then he works with me one day a week. But then also on the weekend, so those two days, we basically end up doing vlogs like this. Yeah. We I edit do. videos. I do recipes and cooking. Yeah. And photographing them and... Just anything that's going basically, on seems to run into the weekend. So, so. It always, there's like no kind of differentiation between work and yeah. play. And I've been thinking about hiring someone just to help with everything like design wise and writing and vlog editing and stuff and Mikey has spoken with his boss his dad and <laughs> he yeah is going to be doing now a two three split which is great so mm. yeah Mikey will be in a lot more vlogs and stuff which is really exciting and yeah, I'm just looking forward to it and we're also like you'll know this by now but we will have started a podcast by the time you watch this where we chat about kind of the ups and downs of living with like a design obsessed person so if you're obsessed with design you might enjoy that we also talk just about like life and funny stories and stuff that's happened design trends and we also do a kind of like agony aunt on design dilemmas but that's kind of more my part of the podcast but Mikey does chime in from time to time when he thinks something's stupid or a waste of time but <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you can find that I'll leave the links for everything down below but yeah exciting lots exciting of changes time, yeah. and it's a really nice time of year for it to happen as well because it's a really busy season like you'll know like I've said loads but with Vlogmas coming up and every yeah. design project trying to get finished for Christmas and more brands wanting to do yeah. things for Christmas. So, and I also want to show all of you like all of our kind of Christmas traditions and decorating and like the deals that are on and stuff to help where I can and show that. So yeah, lots going on. Exciting. Goodness. Anyway, shall we say goodbye? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, I'm really hungry as well. So. Bye bye. For now. Bye bye. But not before. <laughs> X Factor throwback. <laughs> yeah, comment below if you know that X Factor audition. <laughs> Shove a little metal right up your. Bleep. <laughs>